Physicians, dentists, nurses, allied health professionals, and graduate students in the health sciences were awarded degrees at the University of Mississippi Medical Center's 55th commencement ceremony at the Mississippi Coliseum in Jackson. This is the best day of the academic year by far. I was uh, still dean of the medical school when these kids were in school, and so uh, I've still got a big vested interest in this group of uh, graduates today. They've got a bright future. They've been well prepared. Uh, healthcare is uh, uh, a critically important part of our nation's agenda. There are large health needs in Mississippi that these students are going to help solve, and uh, they've just got great futures. At 634, this is the largest number of graduates in the medical center's history, but the story can be told with a much smaller number, two. How's it feel? A father and son, a married couple, a student in the mentorship program that inspired her, and the only two students to receive both MD and PhD degrees. Oh, it's fabulous. <laughs> it's been a long seven years, and uh, I'm really glad to be finished. Are you just an overachiever? Well, um, really liked physiology. And... Yes, she was. She was a hard, very hard worker. She did an awesome job. In I think it's probably one of the biggest accomplishments you can have. It's, it's hard to go to medical school and graduate school back to back. It's a long time. Seven years is a very long time. So, uh, a rare achievement today. Yes, absolutely. A long time coming. Absolutely. It's been seven years in the making, and I'm so proud. So glad it's finally finished. Ready for the next step. What was the hardest part about the seven years? Watching my original class graduate when I was still in grad school. That was really tough. And then matching into residency. When I started, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I wasn't sure if I wanted to teach medical students or if I wanted to be a doctor treating patients. So it was a good route to see both worlds and decide in the end I wanted to do both. It feels wonderful. I'm so glad this journey has finally come to an end. I'm very happy. Jasmine Campbell's journey began back in high school when she participated in Base Pair. Base Pair is a biomedical research mentorship program where we take outstanding high school students and pair them individually with a research faculty member at the medical center and they engage in laboratory research just as if they were a graduate student in that laboratory. It's just overwhelming the degree at which they advance from this very early level into a true beginning of a scientific career. So you went through base pair? I did. And do you credit that with your, your career choice? I do because it pretty much set the foundation for me wanting to go into medicine. So, see, yeah, I do. I give it a lot of credit. <laughs> For Charles Crenshaw and his wife Lauren, I'm very excited. It's great to be sharing it with your husband. That's right. This graduation was special, times two, or perhaps three. It's really nice to be graduating. It's even better our son's going to be up there watching too. So, <laughs> Has it been hard to, to both be in school? It's been pretty tough. Uh, you know, we got married my first semester, her second, I think her the second or third semester. But uh, we got married that first semester and we had a kid somewhere in our second year while she was getting before boards and we were busy with all our stuff. So we've been through a lot since these uh, last three or four years. How's it feel? It feels pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Long time coming. Yes. Rick Carlton was able to share this day with his son in a way few other parents could. So, uh, are you the proud papa? I'm the very proud father. <laughs> well, how, how cool was it to be able to put in yourself? You know, it's such a great opportunity. I, it's something I never had envisioned being able to do, and the opportunity was there, and it's silly not to take it. I am very proud and excited, and it was such an honor that uh, Rick was able to hood Chris. He got a degree from Ole Miss in business administration and said, Hey, Mom and Dad, I want to go to dental school. So here we are. And those are just four stories from a coliseum full of stories. Hospital co-workers who earned their master's degrees together. A nurse who inspired her daughter to follow in her footsteps. A father whose traumatic brain injury inspired his daughter to become a physical therapist. And a Tupelo man who earned a master's degree in biomedical science and now has his sights set on dental school. Uh, this is why we're here. This is the reason we exist. The reason the University of Mississippi Medical Center exists is for this day. Train healthcare professionals from Mississippi. I'm very proud. For more information about educational opportunities at the University of Mississippi Medical Center, go to umc.edu.